So I'm going to be showing you how to make a full screen uh, background image for your HTML and CSS website. Um, you might have noticed that I've already done a video on this, but this is a part two on. Last video wasn't so good and everything, but I really saw people liked it and people, a lot of people viewed it. Like a lot of people wanted more like this. So I'm going to be doing a part two on this time. Instead of putting just text on the background, um, then I'm also going to be putting on buttons so like that big uh, background image and then you have two buttons like view more and then join now kinds of buttons so yes yeah, so we're gonna get started and it's gonna be more better like last what the last one it wasn't so good so I'm gonna be making it better because I see that people really want more like this and yes yeah, so let's start so first thing I'm going to do is save an index.html file. I'm going to just save it on my desktop and then I'm just going to um, call it part 2 I guess. And then I'm just going to go into the folder and then save my index file as index.html. Then I'm just going to create one more file called main.css which will hold all the CSS that I use for the website. Then we're going to just get the main HTML thing, Sublime Text does it for me, it's fine, and then just title like that, why not? Okay, and we also need to uh, link our style sheet, main.css, as you can see here. So we can do that simply by just doing link rel, sorry, equals style sheet, and then href equals, and it's in the same folder, the root folder, so it's just main.css. Okay, now we've got that linked, so we can already start adding all the stuff. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to add the image. So, we're going to first add image tags. Image tags. Um, so, actually, we'll add a div and then we'll put the image in the div. So, the div is here and we'll put that. Um, we'll add an ID of it image container. So, our image will go in here. So, image and source, I'll do that later, and then we'll just end it off there. So here I'm on Google Images, and so here I'm looking for an image. Um, you should notice that I'm using search tools labelled for use, so it's not copyrighted. Um, so I'm going to take one that looks good. I'll just take this, and then what we need to do is just... Uh, we can press view image, it's quite a big image, so it'll take quite a bit of time to load and we can save it in the folder. Um, go to desktop and find part 2. Yep, there it is. Um, don't need to search for that. And then we just save it as image.jpg. Now we've got that in our folder, so we're ready to use it. So it will be called image.jpg. And if we view the website in the browser, we should see that image unstyled, but it should come up. Um, have to open it. Open with Firefox. There we go. And here we go. The image it took a bit of time to load because. Sorry, I didn't realise I had that. It took a bit of time to load because it's quite a big image. Now, now we have to start with the CSS. So the CSS um, will allow us to manip manipulate the image, how it's laid out, and everything. So first, we're going to add uh, the universal select down removable margins because, as you can see, if we go to the browser, there's actually some margins on the top, all around. So when we refresh it should all be removed as you see there's none now and then the image is quite big so it's stretching all the width so we have to put um, some things to the image so we'll go to the image container add some styling to it image and then what we need to do is width a hundred percent I've got a feeling we also need to add something to the image alright now we can see it's all fit but now as we can see it's not a it doesn't fit the but it doesn't fit the whole web browser so what we need to do is add the height because now it's going um now it's the height is bigger than the actual uh, web browser 
so the height 100 vh which will stretch the height of the browser and um, so as you can see it just stretched um, completely for it there is a little bit but it's exactly fit and it fits just to the thing now as I said at the beginning I'll be adding buttons in order to add buttons we might want to blur out the image a bit uh, so we can see the buttons a bit more clearly to um, blur out the image a bit we add opacity and I think 0 0.7 would probably be quite good to fit it and yep it blurs out a bit 0 0.6 we can always change it later. As we can see, it's blurred out a bit. It's not as clear, which is good because then people can focus more on the buttons and the title. Now, what we can do is add our little um, our H1, so we can put like um, your big header goes here. And then we'll also add the side, and we're not going to add an ID because there's only one. And we're going to add text align center font family. Emma, this is really up to you what you do. And we'll just see how it's looking right now. And the image does take a while to load, but as you can see, it's under here, and that's the problem with this. So, what we need to do to do that is add a position a different position so it actually goes on top of the image instead of um, under it as a normal layout would go so what we'll do is we're gonna have to add position absolute so the position absolute um, changes the position to not the regular thing so you can put it anywhere on the page and it doesn't need to depend on the how the other uh, elements are laid out and then we can put top so we'll push it down um, 30 VH we can try and yeah that looks about good but if we use position absolute it'll spoil the centering so we have to put right 0 and left 0 and this should make it centered and yep as we can see it's centered and I've blurred out the image before a bit because um, that we can see the actual text and then once we've done that we, we're actually ready to put the buttons on so first we're going to go to the HTML and create a div um, with an ID of, of button containers container and then we're going to have we're going to actually put a background color to see what we're working on just so we can see temporarily what we're working on we'll add a width of 200 pixels margin um, we'll also have to add position absolute so we can lay it out over the image it's position absolute and then we have to put it um, after the H1 the header one so we should be sorry and um, we have to add a height because otherwise it will not be able to put about 50 pixels for height and then there we can see it and then to center it we have to do left zero right zero like we did with the h1 but as it's a div we just have to do margin left auto and then margin right auto um as well sorry right auto and then it should center yep as we can see it centers but it's a bit too close to the h1 instead we can just put like 38 instead of 35 and that looks good and it should be wider like something like 250 which will do that okay now that that's wide enough we can start putting the actual buttons in something i should know i'm not going to put actual buttons um i'm just going to use p tags because it's just um the way that i would want to that i want to do it um it won't really affect anything but if you want you can put buttons but i'll put p tags as my buttons uh, so yeah so we'll call the first one button one and then we'll put just copy and paste that and call this button two and now what we don't need any we just need to put the text and uh, find out more we'll be of view more and then the other one will be join now 
So now that we've got that, we can start styling each of them. Now uh, they're both gonna have um, they're both gonna have basically the same styles. Just one will be floated left and one right. So we'll just see how it looks now. Okay, so right now the uh, button one will be having float left and then we'll just do float right with button two and it should go on either side yep so now what we have to do we'll add a background color to both of them to see where we're working background color of yellow and see clearly all right so we've got like that and then we'll add height to both of them height of about 40 pixels and then we'll also add some padding all over of about actually you know well we won't add the height we'll just add padding instead so um, we'll try 10 pixels all over which will make it easier instead of having to center vertically center the text and then we'll add the font family of Arial so it will make it look a bit better the text and then we'll also add a border radius which will make the corners curved of like 4 pixels make them slightly curved but not too curved and then we will also make this smaller so it fits it and doesn't make um, them too far apart. 180 is probably right. Uh, we'll add a bit of space between them. 190, and then we can finally remove this uh, red background. And yeah, so that's basically it. You finished it. You got the buttons. And I just want to add one more thing. If you want to add the ability for um, a hover effect. You just do that and then add the hover over here. And then you can do like opacity to 0 0.7 if you want. And then when you hover over it, it'll have that. And then you can also have the a different cursor, which will make it more like a button instead of text. And then, yeah, so that's basically it. You got your header, your background picture, your two buttons, and that's the end of the video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit longer, but I did explain more about it, and I really hope it helped you. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.